Shifting focus to Pakistan next, a delegation comprising of Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province law minister, chief secretary and inspector general of police have reached the lower Kurram district after fresh clashes in the region killed 37 people and wounded 47 others. The delegation has already met the Sunni community and will be meeting the Shia community leaders in Sada today to have consultations aimed at resolving this conflict. On Saturday, the delegation held a virtual meeting with Chief Minister of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Ali Amin Gandapur, and informed him of the present law and order situation in the district. The latest killings began when armed men attacked a village in the district. They set on fire petrol stations and damaged properties as part of revenge. And this is after unidentified gunmen opened fire on a convoy of passenger vehicles in Lower Kurram district on Thursday, killing 42 people, including women and children. According to Deputy Commissioner of Kurram, the convoy came under gunfire while it was on its way from the direct headquarters of Parchinar to Peshawar. The violence is the latest to rock the district, which has been witness to the Shia and Sunni community engaging in tribal and sectarian rivalry for decades now over land dispute near the Afghanistan border. Last month, 11 people were killed in the clashes. Now, amid the clashes, protests and these restrictions that are being imposed in Pakistan, Vion's Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik spoke with the Information Minister of Pakistan. Listen to this. Uh, first questions first. Is the government panicking because we've seen, uh, with regards to the PTI protests, because we've seen this lockdown of a situation where the protesters are yet to come even? Um, I think uh, there are orders by the Islamabad High Court uh, where, they, where they have declared any kind of protest, sit-in or rally as illegal. And we've communicated the orders of the court uh, to the PTI leadership. Uh, there has been contact between the Minister of Interior, Mohsin Akhwi, with the Chairman PTI, Belsa Kohar. And they have been informed uh, that uh, they are not allowed to carry out this protest because, you see, they have a history of violent uh, protests in Pakistan. This very building where you are interviewing me, uh, this was ransacked in 2014, it was burned down, uh, vandalism took place. Uh, on 9th May, they attacked all the military installations in the country, they burned down our national symbols, our national radio building was burned down. So, uh, uh, the symbol of our uh, strength, uh, the Chavi monument, uh, which symbolizes uh, Pakistan's nuclear capability, that was burned down. So they have often been seen beating police officers. Uh, last pro in last in last October, uh, a police officer was martyred during these protests, and uh, they resort to violence, they resort to extremism, and they are often seen violating the code of conduct. So this time, the court has ordered that they will carry out no such protests. And secondly, uh, we have the president of Belarus coming in. Uh, the delegation is arriving tomorrow, uh, which uh, comprises of their ministers and their business delegation, and the president is due on Monday. So we are preparing for his welcome. You can see we put up uh, uh, flags of Belarus and Pakistan together. You can see the lighting arrangements being made. So I think uh, when you have foreign visitors and the court forbids you to carry out any protest, the protest should not be allowed. Do you see the PTI honoring the court orders and calling out this protest? That's, that's their choice. Uh, they have not been adhering to the law. They've hardly been seen. Uh, adhering to the constitution of Pakistan and uh, their political whims and fancies uh, take precedence and uh, to them political interest is supreme and national interest doesn't mean anything to them. So I think uh, we've made our intentions very clear. People who will come to Islamabad in violation of court orders will be arrested. Uh, it is our responsibility as the state to protect the life and property of our citizens and uh, we won't let any force damage any property, whether it be private property or government property, and protecting the lives of our citizens of Islamabad and the, the surroundings of Islamabad, it is our primary duty and we will carry out that duty uh, in the best manner possible. And I think, uh, uh, what's the agenda for this protest? Why can't this protest be held in Peshawar, in their own province where they hold the government? Why come to Islamabad and try to, uh, you know, last time uh, the Chinese president was coming when they tried to block Islamabad in 2014. So they want life to come to a halt in Islamabad, which will not be allowed. They're most welcome to do a protest anywhere in their own province.